Hey you guys, what is up? What is happening? What is going on with you today? I am Ashley with AEHM Artistry and a few months ago, I posted on my community polls over on my YouTube channel. There's like a little community section asking if you guys wanted to see this new brand of gel nail polish being tested out, trying it on, seeing how it works and everything like that. And I asked you to vote whether you wanted first impressions or like a full on tutorial review once I get the hang of it. And it was pretty 50 50 and a lot of you guys commented, please do both. So I I'm here to do that today. So I've been doing my own gel nails for years and I was kind of running low on all my supplies. I hadn't purchased in a while and I wanted to switch to a cruelty-free gel nail system since I am a cruelty-free beauty channel and that's all I like to purchase anyways. And I found that the Orly Gel Effects system was a cruelty-free system. It is vegan if that's what you're looking for as well. And it's also the 12 free type of polish and gel polish, which if you don't know what 12 free means, I'll list everything up here because I can't can't remember off the top of my head and it's kind of hard to pronounce some of it but basically like no formaldehyde and things like that so that's also important to me right now because i am pregnant so since i'm making the switch anyways it's good that everything is free of all those you know more harsh chemicals and ingredients too because i still want to do my nails and look a little bit glam even though i'm pregnant but i'm also in a well ventilated area in case you are concerned and i also have a little face mask for when i file away at the nails so I wanna give you guys a little first impressions here, see how everything goes. I'll do a few nails with you guys and we'll see. This is not gonna be like a tutorial in this round, cause like I said, it's first impressions and this is a builder set, which means you actually build your free edge nails and you can elongate your nails. And I just don't know how that's gonna go. So not a tutorial style. Hopefully I'll get the hang of it and be able to do a actual to an actual tutorial in a few months, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So anyways, I'll also have a secondary camera kind of showing you guys up close and then I can like talk to you at the same time. Just kind of like a multi-purpose, multi-angle view of everything that's going on. If you guys wanna see all that, if that all sounds good and dandy to you, then you're in the right place. So all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight and keep on watching. gonna get started here but I do want to put a disclaimer out really quickly that yes I am a licensed cosmetologist however I went to Paul Mitchell to school and it was years and years ago and at the time at least they did not focus on nails at all all basically when you're art when you're a licensed cosmetologist you're licensed to do hair skin nails hair removal all of that but since being Paul Mitchell it was very hair focused they just taught us the basics to pass state board and I mean like basics like I know how to file I know hygienics and everything like that that goes into nails but I don't know like great the best application or acrylics and things so I'm mostly self-taught when it comes to the gel system and I kind of go off of the instructions and it's worked well for me like I said I've been doing my own gel nails for years and I love it and it saves me a lot of money and they always look great and I love it and I can do my fills at home and everything like that. But I'm really excited to try this set before. This is gonna be my first time at doing a builder situation at all. So I did wanna put that disclaimer out there for you that this is technically a professional line. I did purchase it from a licensed professional store. I purchased it from Cosmoprof. So in case you are licensed, you can pick it up there or you can sign up from Orly Pro online and sign up for your system there as well as get the gel effects nail polish colors there too. If you are not a licensed professional though, however, you can pick up a smaller version of the Builder in the Bottle set as well as a single Builder in the Bottle. It's just instead of this size, it's this size. You can pick that up at Sally's Beauty Supply and it's pretty reasonably priced. I think it's like around $45 for the kit, which is great. But if you're a professional, you can get the kind of bigger size. The Gel Effects Polish, I wish that they had them at Sally's. I don't know why. These are kind of hard to find. They don't even carry them at Cosmoprof. I had to order them from Orly, but you can get them from Amazon just you know, make sure it's coming from a reputable source. However, again, they do say that you do not have to use gel effects from Orly. You can use whatever gel polish you want or whatever net regular polish you want because this system right here is mostly based on the builder. You'll just have a slightly different applications depending on what you're using from there. But I wanted to get the whole complete set because I want to see how long it lasts and everything. Okay, I think that's a lot of information. I think I just threw all at you guys. Best to my knowledge, everything that I can remember, but let's start applying now. So to start off, I already removed the polish that I had on before, of course, and then I actually pushed back my cuticles with a little orange wood stick and then cleaned underneath the nail. So you want a nice clean base to start out with. And then what it says to do is it says to prep your nail beds with their zebra file. This one came in the kit, but any like low grade file will work, nothing too, too rough. We're just gonna remove the shine. 
And then what I like to do for any gel system is I take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I put it on this lint free cotton cloth. I get these at the nail shop as well, but Sally should carry them and stuff like that and Amazon and everything. You just want them to be lint free so it doesn't leave any traces. And I just kind of clean off any kind of, you know, that dust from filing and everything like that. So I don't have any excess issues. Should mention really quickly, a key essential in this that didn't come with this that I had purchased separately a long time ago, but it's a LED light. I like them better than the UV lights. UV lights you have to cure for a lot longer. The LED lights are really, really quick and a little bit more gentle, I guess, for you because they're not UVA rays, but you could probably pick those up at, you know, Amazon, Sally's, wherever. Mine is from Red Carpet Manicure. I think Ulta sells it but I got mine like literally years ago, years and years, at least five years ago. Nails are all prepped. I do have some, I wanted to kind of test out the system and see, I have my nails that are a little bit shorter and then over here I have some ones that are a little bit longer. I'm kind of curious to see which one does better because I'm being a little guinea pig and I'll update you guys later on how long everything wore and stuff like that, not in this video, but in a later video. So it says, I have a little instruction kit right here that came with the kit and it says to apply gel effects primer onto the entire nail and then apply the perfect fit form. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna do two nails right now because that's all I think I can handle at the moment on video. So I'm gonna do these two, cover the nail completely. And then these are the perfect fit forms. I'm a little intimidated by these, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna try them out. I remember trying to use these in cosmetology school and they were a little tricky. So I know that you have to like punch out this little center because that's where your nail bed is gonna go. And then you split right here. I watched a couple videos on this, by the way. Some of them were on Instagram and they're really good. And even YouTube, Orly actually has videos on YouTube showing you guys how to apply this. So I did see that it said it is best, these are really sticky, it is best to pinch over here first. Oh my gosh, this is so much pressure. What did I get into? To pinch it down first and it makes it a little bit easier. I want to do kind of a like, what is it? Like a long almond shaped, is it coffin shaped? No, not coffin. Um, I don't know. But you're gonna stick it underneath the free edge of the nail, that feels very odd. Oh, it has like a little diagram on there too of where your nails go. Okay, that's very weird. I wanna make sure that it's level, not pointed down, not pointed up. This is very, very weird feeling. Like I said, what did I get myself into? Curve it around, make sure it's nice and sticky, and then pop it down like that. So pretty, pretty flat, I feel. I don't feel like it's too far up. I don't feel like it's pointed too far down, but we will see how it goes. Let's do this one nail right now, and then we'll move on to the second one if all goes well. So it says next to sculpt the tip to the desired length and just a third of the nail plate. So you just kind of want to do a little bit of the edge right here and then to however long you want or short you want, and then flash cure for 10 seconds under here. So I'm gonna move it over here. It's Mm, my, my, I'm gonna have to hold it up because this light isn't very tall. So this is the builder in the bottle. That is what they're talking about. I'm gonna give it a little good little shake. Okay, so I'm gonna put like a little, little bead right here. I need more than that. And I'm gonna drag it. I want it to be, I might file these down, but let's say I'm gonna go to the number five. Let's just say I'm gonna go to a third of the nail and around it. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can file it down, but the more you have to file later, the longer it'll take, right? I'm worried about this edge right here not being secure. Okay, and it says it self levels. So we will see. Okay, I'm gonna flash cure that for 10 seconds underneath my light. 10 seconds later. Now it says to do the entire nail surface, more of a thin layer. That. I'm gonna do 10 seconds of that. And then it says to float a bead down the center to create that kind of natural curvature and what you like to see in professionally done nails. So I'm gonna take this little bead here and put it along. I might've made these too thick, but I'm like worried. But if they're too thin, they'll break. Float it all the way down to where you want it to go. And it'll naturally kind of move around that is wild it looks 
It looks really cool already, but we'll see when we take it off. I saw this technique and this trick on gel video forever ago where you hold it upside down and it kind of helps to float it. I don't know if that's true, but we're gonna find out. Okay, now it says to flash cure it for 10 seconds and move on to the other nail and then do a final 30 seconds for everything. I'm just gonna go straight in and do the 30 seconds since I'm gonna move on to the other nail and we'll see how it goes. 30, 30 seconds, seconds later. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> Touch a horseshoe for me. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. That, <laughs> it's long, but it is neat. Okay, it says to um, cleanse with the alcohol. I'm too excited. I have to just go in with this one now. So I'm gonna take another lint-free cloth. It says to cleanse with alcohol. To, to remove like the uh, the little tacky layer. Okay, I see where, oh my gosh, they are so sharp. Ooh! So I'm gonna cleanse, because there's usually like a little tacky layer on gel. Look at how clear, like crystal clear that is. That is crazy. Like it is hard, it is on there. Can you guys see that? That is legit, oh, oh my god. I'm so excited. Okay, I do see where I messed up a little bit though is there's like a little hook right there. It says to file anyways. So I'm gonna take this file that it came with and try to smooth out that edge or else I might need to go over it with again because right now it's just gonna hook onto everything, my hair, and probably rip off and that will not be good. So you're supposed to file and shape it. Holy moly. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so, so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I think you guys kind of get the point. I don't think I need to do more than one nail. That, that actually went way better than I thought for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my full set, clean it everything, file it, and then I'll put the gel polish on with you guys and we'll see how they look after all. That, hopefully you guys can see, that is crazy. Oh my goodness, it feels so cool, it feels so legit. I don't know how I'm gonna live my life with nails these long. I probably should go a little shorter the first time, but anyways, okay, I'll be back in a jiff. Uh, give or take one hour, it wasn't really counting. All right, so whole set is done. It was actually, honestly, it wasn't that difficult if you have a little experience in what you are doing. So I went ahead and filed everything down, buffed it. My left hand is obviously better than my right because I am right dominant. I am slightly, slightly ambidextrous, so it wasn't that difficult for me to do this side, but this side definitely has some improvements. It's not like completely flat. This side though looks really, really good. So now I already went ahead and buffed the top and wiped with alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Gel FX color. I just am gonna do white today. I don't wanna do anything crazy, no kind of crazy art or anything. So it says to go straight in with the Gel FX color and then do their top coat. Like I said at the beginning, they said that you do not have to use their system. You can use whatever polish you want. You can use a regular gel, whatever. I'm gonna go with their system because that is what I wanted to switch over to anyways. And that will be that. Also, this one cures 30 seconds each time under the light. So. Let's do that really quick and see how they look all colored and painted up. All right, you guys, here is the completed set all done. And for my first time, it is not that bad. And overall, I think the system was pretty simple. Like I said, if you know kind of what you're doing, I do see like some bumpies and stuff. So I do need to work on smoothing out the nail because that's kind of bugging me a little bit, but from far away, you would never no. So like I said, I'm going to be doing some like updated videos and stuff, let you guys know how long they last. And once I get the real hang of it, I'll do more of a tutorial style and hopefully won't talk too much with my nails like this. But thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you are new here and you just stumbled upon my channel and my face for the first time, I would love it if you would consider going down and hitting that little red subscribe button. That way you get notified when I post new videos, which is at least three times a week. And this is so much fun creating for you guys and doing different stuff. I am a beauty channel, so all things beauty. Usually it's a focus on makeup, but now nails too. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope every single one of you out there have a great freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful day.